Hi guys, uh, this is a tea from Allure Tech and today we'll be doing a video on the unboxing of the Nexus 6P. As you can see I've got the box here and it's been opened already. Um, I've taken out the box but I thought I'd just do this for a, for a quick video and hopefully this will be the first of many. Um, obviously this is my first video so I'm just starting off the channel uh, pretty simple. And this is that um, first device I brought for, uh, well, I brought for myself recently which is brand new so um, I thought next time whenever I get the chance I'll, I'll do a video on it so uh, just to get started as you can see the box um, pretty standard Nexus style with the Nexus P logo at the front let me just open it up and we've got a quite a nice um, leaflet which kind of explains um, some of the basic uh, functionality of how to get started so it's quite pictorial so for people who don't like reading it's pretty great for and I love the colour scheme of it I'm a graphic designer myself and I think it looks absolutely awesome um, all the graphics are uh, vector based and they're pretty crisp pretty clean so I'm loving that and inside the box um, you've got obviously the main phone let's grab that out of there kind of tucked underneath the blue tab so just like a black slab really and just put that to one side and we've got some uh, leaflets well we did have there's a safety leaflet taking it out of there and you've also got the um, sim card projector pin so you can just use that to take out the sim tray and pop it in there pretty nice that's pretty standard stuff that to one side I've also got a Google Music um, little, let's see what that is actually I can get it out finally managed to get that out so yeah try Google for 90 days that's one side underneath here we've got a USB-C to normal standard USB um, so this would be great for if I was at work I can just stick this into my Mac and charge my phone from there really and just put it on the side then you've got the plug power adapter and the USB lead that connects into it and then from, from the plug to, into the phone Pop that. Now let's uh, have a quick look at the phone and first impressions of it. So let's take it out of its sleeve. So it's more or less a black slab. I'm not really doing this very well actually. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, it's got fingerprints already on there. You can see on the screen. That's the back. I went for the black version because I think if you're going to do metal, aluminium, black is the best colour you can go for. It looks so svelte. Um, silver is a bit common. White, I don't think white suits it as much really, to be honest with you. Um, you got this visor on the top which a lot of people are calling it, nicknaming it. Um, it looks it looks all right. I mean, it's not the best feature of the phone. Um, uh, obviously it houses a camera, the dual flash, and other little bits and bobs, uh, antenna lines and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not too much of a bother for me to be honest with you. And because I've got the black version, the visor kind of um, goes quite well with it. So, and then you've got the fingerprint scanner as well. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just focusing very well. You see, there we go. And along the right hand side, you've got the power button with a nice little, uh, nice bit of texture on there, so it's pretty easy to hit. Uh, you got the volume rocker 
on the top you got the 3.5 headphone jack and then on the left hand side I don't know if you can see you've got the sim tray and nothing else so it's pretty clean from there and on the bottom is the USB-C port um, first impressions I think the phone is pretty massive um, it's bigger than my Note 4 which, you, which I had previously um, I mean I've got pretty big hands so it's not totally unwieldy for me um, but uh, the one handed use is out the window completely so um, but I, the design wise the front looks pretty clean I like it I like things crisp and clean um, this uh, obviously because it's black the screen actually mounts into it what are you doing? yo why did you destroy this properly? why? it's got your name and address on there you, you... why do you do it? no thank you you catch me though? okay <coughs> as I was saying um, phone looks pretty great I'm loving it dual uh, front facing speakers uh, front facing camera um, I love the chamfered edges the the black color is just incredible um, I love the fingerprint scanner that it's on the back it, obviously your finger falls naturally onto it um, when you pick the phone up it's got like a little chamfered edge around it as well so that's that's kind of nice you've got the nice big Nexus logo on the back as well um, yeah so first impressions are pretty good um, yeah that shouldn't have happened oh. there we go it keeps going out of focus um, let me just pull that back a bit so yeah, looking forward to using this and I'll probably give an update on what it's like after a week's use. Um, you can see the, the on screen, the ambient sensor, obviously when you move your finger over it brings up the time. Uh, it's not too, I think it's, yeah, when it's on the floor or on the table and you pick it up, then it kind of goes off but yeah it's uh, pretty nice liking it I'll give an update after about a week of um, what my thoughts are on it um, and then I'll probably do a review as well as I said I'm just starting off so uh, we'll see how it goes